You know, when you have that gut intuition and you knew you should have followed your gut, I should have rented that Ferrari today and took it for a spin around Denver. I wouldn't have gotten a ticket. <laughs> They're all right here. <laughs> I knew I should have done it. I knew I should have ditched it. It was a nice day, top down, Ferrari. All the cops are in here. Um, I'm just kidding, guys. I, uh, I wanted to, um, to also chime in on the thank yous. I've had a, the, the pleasure to work with uh, a, a lot of you sitting down, and I'm really, really inspired. And um, two things. One is, yes, sometimes uh, we experience things in our lives that, that can break us, uh, but they never break our spirit. And you can never break the spirit of somebody who puts on a uniform and works on behalf of the people. Even if you don't have a uniform uh, and work on behalf of the people, I try to remind folks, even in solid waste, that when they wear that uniform, they wear in the city's uniform. And whether it be on a police badge or a firefighter's badge or the sheriff's badge or even the little pin that we don sometimes right here, that's the symbol of the people that you carry on your uniform. And I think that's such a beautiful thing and a prideful thing. And that's what we have to remember, is, uh, is those uniforms, you all who bear those uniforms and bear that seal, have such that great responsibility. And I'm proud to work with you all. I, um, uh, I love that spirit. I just love that spirit. And any time I see you all in our neighborhoods or in, this, in these chambers, it, really, it fills me with pride. My grandfather also wore a uniform in World War II. And so I know what that meant, and it was, meant everything to him. And I know it means everything to you. So thank you on behalf of the people of District 3 for everything that you do in our neighborhoods, even in, our De in, in Denver period. So thank you. I really appreciate it.